As we stepped into the new year, I continued exploring fresh concepts to work on. This time, looking for something more laid back and fun to build. That's when I came across a website that recently won award site of the day just last week on December 26th. The landing page reveal animation caught my eye right away, especially the way the images scaled out and transitioned into a stacked layout after the reveal. It felt like the perfect challenge, so I went on recreating the animation using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. After a couple hours of playing around, I managed to achieve the same reveal experience using GSAP's Flip plugin, which made transitioning between two image states, scaling out, and moving to the corner seamless. I also made some tweaks to the visuals to make it look a bit different but kept that widely used text reveal animation where the text line smoothly transitions through a clip mask. If you find my work helpful, don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. I've got tons of exciting content planned for this year that I think you will find both fun and helpful. And if you'd like to access the source code or want to support my work, you can check out the pro membership via the link in the description. All right, let's get right into the code. First, we'll add a container div to house everything on the page. Inside the container, I'll create a revelers div with two child divs, both assigned the class reveler along with unique classes like R1 and R2. This will be used for the initial block revel animation. Next, we need a section for all the images. I'll create a div with the class image for each image and place an image element inside it. This will be repeated for a total of 8 images. For the last 3 images, I'll assign an additional main class since these will be used for the image transition effect later. Now let's move on to the hero section. I'll create a container to hold all its content. First, we'll add the site logo. This will be divided into two parts, each containing an h1 element for the logo text. Next, we'll build the navigation bar. I'll add 4 divs with the class nav item and add placeholder text for the links. These will serve as dummy links for now. For the cover image, I'm reusing one of the images from our initial image section. Finally, we need to display the rest of the hero content. I'll divide this into two rows and each row will have two columns for easy alignment using Flexbox later. In the first row's first column, I'll add some placeholder text and in the second column, a placeholder title inside an H2 tag. For the second row, the first column will remain empty since it will be the stacking area for the images after the transition. In the second row's second column, I'll further divide it into two sections, one for the address and another for social links. Each of these sections will have text elements wrapped inside a div with the class line. Wrapping each text inside a separate div allows us to apply a clip mask later for animations. And that completes the HTML setup. Let's move on to the CSS to style everything and bring it to life. We start with some global styles. The universal selector resets the margin, padding, and box sizing for all elements. For HTML and body, we set the width and height to 100% and apply a clean modern font. The background is set to white. The image selector ensures all images cover their containers perfectly by setting width and height to 100% and object fit is set to cover to fill their containers. The container class is our main wrapper, set to fill the entire viewport. The overflow is set to hidden to ensure no content spills outside. The reveler's container is positioned fixed to cover the entire viewport. It uses display flex and flex direction column to stack its child elements vertically. Each reveler has a flex value of 1 to take up equal space, a white background and a clip path set to a rectangle. This clip path will later allow animations for the reveal effect. The images class is positioned absolutely in the center of the viewport using the transform technique. It's set up for smooth transitions with transform origin set to center and will change set to transform for optimized performance during animations. Each image is similarly centered and starts with a scaled up appearance. All images are initially hidden with opacity set to 0 except for the first one which has opacity 1.
When images are in the stacked container state, they are repositioned to the bottom left corner using position fixed and styled into a column layout with flex direction column reverse. Each image, when stacked, gets smaller dimensions and loses the centered scaling. The hero content spans the full viewport. The site logo is positioned at the top left corner with display flex and a gap for spacing between two words. Each H1 is styled with a modern font, large size, and precise letter spacing. The superscript symbol is carefully positioned for a polished look. The nav is positioned on the right side of the viewport and styled as a horizontal menu using display flex with justify content flex end. Each nav item contains a placeholder paragraph element with some basic styles. The cover image sits in the bottom right corner with a fixed size. Its clip path initially hides the image, allowing for animated reveal later. The image is desaturated using CSS filter. The site info section is at the bottom left corner and arranged into two rows using display flex. Each row splits into two columns for easy layout alignment. The first column in the first row contains some placeholder text while the second column houses an H2 element styled for titles with a bold and modern look. The second row's first column remains empty while the second column is split into two sections, address and socials. Both are styled to display text in a clean, readable format. All text elements in address and socials are wrapped in line divs. This setup is critical for applying clip mask animations later. The word, nav item and line classes are using clip path to prepare for text reveal animations. For animations, each h1 paragraph element or span element starts with a translate y value of 100%, effectively hiding them below their clip mask. This prepares them for reveal effect as the transform property is animated. And that's how the CSS structure supports both the layout and the animations. Let's move on to the JavaScript to bring these elements to life. First, we listen for the DOM content loaded event to ensure the DOM is fully loaded before running our script. We start by creating two custom easing functions, hop and hop2 using GSAP's custom ease plugin. These provide smooth and unique motion curves for our animations, adding character to the transitions. We start by using the split type library to break the site info header text into individual lines. Once the text is split into lines, we iterate through each line using the for each method. For every line, we first capture its text content. Next, we create a new div element, assign it the class name line. and then create a span element to hold the actual text content. The text from the line is set as the content of the span which is then appended to the div. Finally, the original line is replaced in the DOM with this newly created structure allowing us to animate each line individually later. Next, we create three separate GSAP timelines, main timeline, reveler timeline, and scale timeline. These timelines will help us sequence and manage different parts of the animation smoothly. In the reveler timeline, we animate the reveler element's clip path property to collapse vertically, creating the effect of a bottom to top reveal. Simultaneously, we animate the second reveler's clip path in the opposite direction, collapsing from the top to the bottom. 
Using the less than symbol, we offset the timing to ensure this animation starts at the same time as the previous one, creating a synchronized effect. Next, in the scale timeline, we animate the first image element to scale down to its original size. The scaling animation takes 2 seconds and uses the power for easing. These animations lay the foundation for the overall landing page revel effect. Next, we select all the image elements except the first one using the query selector all function. Then, we loop through each image using the for each method. For every image, we add a new animation to the scale timeline. In this animation, we gradually increase the image's opacity to 1, making it fully visible and scale it down to its original size. The duration for each image animation is set to 1.25 seconds and the power 3 easing gives it a smooth, natural motion. To create a slight overlap between consecutive animations, we use the timing offset of 0.5 seconds. Finally, we start by adding the regular timeline to the main timeline followed by the scale timeline, slightly overlapping it with a small negative offset to create a seamless transition between the animations. Next, we introduce a function to remove all images that don't have the main class. Using query selector all and for each, we iterate through these images and remove them from the DOM to clean up unnecessary elements. We then capture the current state of the main images using GSAP's flip plugin. This state allows us to animate the transition into a stacked layout. The images container is modified by adding the stacked container class, preparing it for the new layout. Each main image is also updated with the stacked class and their order is set based on their index to stack them correctly. We also use GSAP set method to clear any transform, top or left properties for a fresh starting point. Using from method, we animate the transition to the stacked layout. The animation runs for 2 seconds with the custom hop using and we add a negative stagger effect to make the stacking feel dynamic and fluid. After the stacking is complete, we animate the text elements. Each element's Y transform is animated to 0 over 3 seconds using the hop to easing. A stagger of 0.1 second adds a natural flow and a delay of 1.25 seconds ensures proper timing with the previous animations. Finally, the cover image clip path animates to fully reveal the image. This animation runs for 2 seconds with the hop easing and starts slightly earlier with a negative delay of 4.75 seconds ensuring it synchronizes perfectly with the rest of the sequence. This completes the entire animation timeline for the landing page reveal. Hope you found the video helpful. See you in the next one.